So now what we're going to demonstrate is the um, uh, compression bandage and uh, a horseshoe pad for a lateral ankle sprain. Generally speaking, when somebody significantly sprains their ankle, uh, they get a lot of swelling uh, in the lateral, um, around the lateral malleolus. Primarily right in here, just called the sinus tarsi, uh, this little um, dip that goes in right here. The reason is is because this uh, anterior talofibular ligament um, is most, the one that's most commonly sprained. So you get a lot of swelling right here. And the reason that we're worried about swelling is swelling is the number one thing that's going to slow the body's ability to heal this injury. So if we can get the swelling out of there, ideally his recovery time is going to be less. So there's a couple different things that um, we want to do for swelling. One is to compress it, so pushing down on it. And two is going to be to elevate it. So um, by elevating is just me telling him you know, make sure that you keep it up as much as possible. Don't um, try not to be walking around on it. But the other thing is going to be to apply this uh, compress compressive bandage. So what's going to happen here is it's shaped in a horseshoe. It's going to come right around the lateral malleolus. When I push this down, it's going to push tight, and that's going to help push swelling out of there. Swelling might go down to the toes, which is fine as long as it's not. Um, in this particular area where the injury is. But ideally we want to get as much swelling up into the bigger uh, portions of the leg. That way the lymphatic system can help drain and flush um, all the, those waste products out of there. So we don't really want it um, down in the foot. We want to get it up into his leg. So um, I'll start with a compressive bandage. It's kind of stretchy. Uh, you can make this too tight. So it's kind of a you have to practice a couple times to make sure that you, you know, you're not too terribly tight. So just like our pre-wrap, we're going to start, we're going to come around the foot. One of the things that we're going to do is at the very top here, we're just going to flip this little guy over. It's called making it a little do a dog ear. Because what that will do is that will help keep this wrap from slipping and sliding and falling down because it won't it'll be stuck up here so it won't kind of spring itself down. So once we've got that, we can come and we can do our figure eight around the ankle. Again, trying to pull a little bit tight right over this particular spot, which is where the, in the anterior talofibular ligament is. Again, as we come around, I don't want to pull the whole thing tight, but just a little snug pull right here. And then once I get to this spot, I'm just going to slowly wind my way up the leg. I want to get it up as far as it possibly can because that will help push the swelling up, up, up and as far out as possible. Once we get to here, we've got the option of using our little clips, which the clips are totally fine if the individual is just going to be like walking around during the day. But there are some times where we use a compressive bandage and we actually they're going to go out and play with it. Um, and so then we would want to use tape instead. So um, what I could do is I could just use this tape and help hold those things down. But anytime they use tape, it's, you run the risk of it having to kind of come around here, which is going to then restrict any type of blood flow pushing out because you're kind of like setting a little tourniquet on right there. Okay. Um, you can see there's a little bit of space in the heel. That's okay. Uh, the heels don't really trap. They're so, the skin is so tight there, it doesn't really trap a lot of swelling. So that's okay to leave that. Um, plus then as he moves, it allows the wrap to a little bit of, um, a little bit of give there. So if you go on the heel, sometimes when you walk, it just keeps rubbing on the heel and then the wrap kind of pulls down and um, gets all crazy. Um, at the very end here, you do want to do a good check for circulation because you can do it too tight. The way that you know that it's too tight is um, you can check for uh, uh, sensation. So you can feel that. Uh, you also can do what's called capillary refill, where you just squeeze on the toes and see how quickly that blood uh, returns back into there. Um, you know, if it goes really, really quick, then that means that you've trapped too much blood down there. Or if it goes really, really slow, it means that you've trapped the blood up here and it's not allowing to go down. So you just want to make sure that that looks you know, fairly normal and just uh, check for that. Ask him how it feels. 
Um, and uh, he should be on his way.